Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 Ultimate Team game. We're back with the team on the Xbox One. All the new acquisitions we had. Chris Johnson still the running back, still putting on moves, staying on his feet and getting a nice gain of 9 yards. Of course, Campus Hero, Honey Badger, all the new guys out here. Peyton Manning rolling out and fumbling the ball. And thankfully, I believe Mikey Potty is there to pick it up. But that was borderline disastrous on Manning's second attempt of the game. This is Manning passing it, hitting Chris Johnson. And Chris Johnson with the spin move to get the first down. And look at him fighting for extra yards. That's more of like a Marshawn Lynch kind of game fighting for extra yards. But Chris Johnson is also doing it tonight. As you guys see, we get the first down throwing the ball on the slant. Next play going for it all. Brandon Cooks. That was a touchdown, but Manning overthrows the open receiver. And that might be a sign that we probably need to get a new quarterback because Peyton Manning can only get the job done for so long as we run it with Chris Johnson and get the first down. Had no problem running it on second and third and one with Chris Johnson. Even fourth down, knowing that he's fast enough to take it across the chains in the blink of an eye as we throw a slant route right there. Third down and four. Looking to go conservative, looking for Chris, just trying to get the first down, move the chains. I want to take a shot in the end zone, but he covered it himself. But you can only cover so many players and right now there is no Johnson that could be covered on this field Chris Johnson David Johnson neither of them as we come out passing on second down but Manning gets taken down immediately by Jonathan Hankins and now third down and eight Manning is downed again not a sack but pretty much right there but that was Bruce Smith who came in and knocked down Peyton and the drive pretty much gets killed because of a lack of passing protection right there and we take a field goal not a bad way to end it but we did march all the way down to the goal line so it would have been nice to get a touchdown out of it we'll just have to hope our defense is ready to play today as we knock down Doug Martin Doug Martin got a rude awakening to this game but right now he's getting the carries and he's making the most of it getting about four yards right there this is Todd Gurley in the game but Todd Gurley gets tracked down by Tyron Matthew Tyron's got that 96 speed to his advantage as he lobs it up trying to take a shot downfield but Charles Woodson is there as usual to break it up third down and a Drew Brees got time looking open got it what a throw right there for the first down by Drew Brees this is the Super Bowl Brees and that was Drew Brees in the Super Bowl-esque right there as he throws it in the flats. Got his man for a short little gain right there, but it's not the first down. Third down and six. Passing one more time. Got time. Here comes the rush. Brees throwing on the run, and it's cut by Amari Cooper. What a throw by Brees on his weak side right there as we stuffed the run right there. Doug Martin attempting to get yards. Only got two. Comes out passing where he's been strong all game long. Trying to hit the corner route right there, but no dice. Third down and eight. He's been living on third down all drive long rolling out breeze pressure throwing caught but broken up Kiko Alonzo breaks it up at the last second and he goes for the field goal right before half and it's a 3-3 game, but it's just been a very slow-paced game as you see David Johnson to the outside, juking, breaking, and brought down at the 39-yard line. Both guys marched downfield and got a field goal on the opening drive. It's just low scoring because we both took so long to do it. We had the advantage because we may have the last possession before half, and we're on pace to score some points. We just entered Brandon McManus's very long field goal range. Now we're thinking about touchdown, but Manning gets taken down. Once again, no pass protection, so why not run the ball on third down and just so let Chris Johnson get enough yards to get the first down. And now we'll try to once again worry about maybe taking a shot for the end zone. Manning lobbing it. Johnson had a step. But Manning is off the mark again. Second down. Back to the run game. Conservative call. Goes nowhere. We call our second time out with 10 seconds left. We basically take a shot to the end zone right here. Manning throwing it. Davis not caught. It is caught though by Roy Williams at the two-yard line. That's a turnover in field goal range instead of getting the lead. I tried to get greedy tried to go for a touchdown i figured why not throw an aggressive catch one-on-one -on -one, take my chances and i got burnt it's just a chance you risk right there and it's normally not the chance i take but i took it and it did not work so now he's in the driver's seat right here he's got a chance to control the clock take as long as he wants on this drive any score gives him the lead but first he's got to get a first down drew Brees playing makering and finding the open man again when he's given time drew Brees has been making all the right plays but tyron matthew is making all the right plays in the running game dog martin has been cooled off considerably after the slow start as he throws it and gets a short a little gain on the slant route third down and seven pressure down goes breeze we had to make sure breeze didn't have time so we send six and on fourth down and seven he's going for it breeze looking throwing and broken up by eric 
Barry turnover on downs. What a stand by the defense. Breeze next play. Or my bad. That's Peyton Manning next play. Trying to look for Brandon Cooks, but didn't have enough time for the play to develop. Now it's second down and long. Chris Johnson out the flats. Got the speed to get the first down. Chris Johnson on these short little dump downs has been carrying the squad. So why not try it again? Nothing open, but Chris Johnson is going to get us a nice gain of about four and a half yards right there. And now David Johnson comes in the game, subbing in for Chris, doing his thing, but doesn't get the first down. Doesn't really get anything on that rush third down passing hooks incomplete can't make the catch in traffic and on fourth and five we're passing up on the field goal we're going for it we're running it chris johnson catching the edge one more time and getting the first down we got some great blockers on the outside like heinz ward helping us out and now cam newton in the backfield throwing cut Bruce juking and getting the ball to the 15-yard line. That's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And now to start the fourth, we have the ball in the red zone, trying to strike for six. Chris Johnson gets a first down. That's going to help. This is not a goal-to-go situation. We can get a first down to one-yard line or try to get a touchdown. But Chris Johnson is stuffed by Eric Kendricks. Second down and seven, looking to come out passing. Manning needing time. He's got it here. He's got David Johnson. David Johnson can't break free. And now a huge third down and six. Very important play call so important that I call a timeout I want to come out in the right play I want to try to get a touchdown and Chris Johnson has been the workhorse so far oh he's not able to get the first Eric Kendrick saves a touchdown and the first down fourth down and one we're going for it looking to give it to Chris one more time risky golly run commits and he stuffs Johnson in the backfield once again we pass the opportunity to take the field goal risking it all and we get burnt and that might cost us the game this could be the last drive tie game two minute warning just hit oh tyron matthew the ball goes through his hands that was a game changer that didn't happen instead third down and 11 he gets the catch in traffic gets the first down and he needs to march downfield in a minute 40 at least a field goal range to win this game in regulation breeze running the ball breeze fumbles a bit it goes out of bounds the clock stops he does not get any forward progress instead second down and eight he's stuffed in the backfield goes nowhere third down and seven huge play here he's got to get a first down he throws it in the Flats, Doug Martin breaking a tackle, fighting, but not getting the first down, fourth and inches, he's going for it, he's coming out in shotgun, he's on 30 yard line, here we go, Breeze is passing, Breeze is throwing, and Breeze got Doug Martin, drive stays alive, 50 seconds left, tick tock, tick tock, Breeze looking, looking, rolling, buying time, backing up, running away, taking off, and only getting a gain of three yards right there, he's gonna need more than that if he wants to get in field goal range, coming out, same play been running all drive long corner strike playing it conservative and we're playing bend but don't break he get these completions but i'm betting that he doesn't get in field goal range before the game ends 30 seconds left that clock against him he needs a play third down needs a first down at least flats one more time but todd Gurley doesn't come up with the clap catch and now fourth and two game on the line here because he's going for his own 39 passing one more time it's breeze looking for the open man throwing on the run and it's caught stumbling for the first down amari cooper to the 46 about 10 yards away from winning the game Breeze looking, throwing again, rerouting Breeze, pressure coming, and he just throws it away. Now 13 seconds left. He's one big play away from winning this game, but he can't make a mistake at midfield. He's throwing again. He's throwing in the corner, and it's picked off by Dick Lane, and Dick Lane's in the open field, stumbling back on his feet, and he's free. The clock is gone. Bendo, who so is Dick Lane for the game. Good night, Tampa Bay. That's the ball game. No time left for him to try to redeem himself. He throws the game-winning touchdown for the wrong team. What a play by Dick Lane. Jumping the corner route and then taking it to the crib. And he is your hero today. That was just beautiful instincts. You hope your corner makes a play like this one-on-one. -on -one, and he did it and then some. Heinz Ward couldn't get it. And Night Train took off like a freight train you guys saw we almost screwed that up we almost fell on i believe malcolm smith who was trying to be a blocker but i kind of got in the way right there i don't know if these juke moves or anything like that was necessary actually i believe it was lawrence taylor one of these guys almost messed yeah it was malcolm smith one of these guys almost messes up here they we were able to regain our balance if anything i could have taken the ball out of bounds with like one second left and kicked the game winning field goal if someone was about to chase me down i probably would have done that but seeing as no one else did I took my time, man. I talked in my way into that end zone, and we got the win. A tough victory, hard fought. We almost gave it away with mistakes on offense when we had control for most of it, but thankfully the defense bailed.
bailed us out. Leave a like on this video because that was one heck of a game, one heck of an ending. Subscribe for more Man 16 Ultimate Team games, and I will catch you guys next time.